What's up, nerds? Nerd here, and we're finally going to do the apartment tour. A lot of you have been asking me to do this for a long time, and I wanted to wait until I got a few more pieces of Overwatch art, but I figure, why not just do it now? Um, I still have a lot of art to show you and many other nerdy things, so hopefully you enjoy that. You can already see uh, right behind me, I got like Shinobu up on top of my refrigerator, so it gets pretty deep pretty quick. Um, do be delicate with your comments about the house. I keep it really clean, but it's in the same state it was when I woke up this morning. So nothing like overly cleanly. Let's just say it, say that. Um, behind me is my door and we're already in my apartment, of course. So we're going to start the tour now. Keep in mind that I'm about to re-record this. So my face is going to get smaller. And then as we walk, I'll actually be talking over the stuff that I show you um, from recording it a second time. Okay, the first thing we get to is the arts and crafts table, the cosplay table, the shipping table, etc. Um, I use this table for just about everything. If I just want to come hang out and do some arts and crafts stuff or just draw, I come out here and do it. Uh, so you can see arts and, arts and crafts supplies as well as some random Overwatch stuff laying on the table. Probably the most notable thing above this table though is my Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon card display case. In that case, I have like PSA 10 first edition, really old Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Um, it's a pretty serious hobby of mine. I buy and trade them and sell them and um, try to collect the cards that I want while still making money sort of thing. So it's a good hobby to get into if you, if you like that kind of stuff. I've always liked it. You also have this Dead Man's Wonderland like memorial uh, manga page that I'm hanging up because it's one of my favorite mangas of all time. Moving on to right beside the arts and crafts table, you have all these Overwatch boxes I have stacked up. I don't really know what I want to do with these yet. These are the boxes that the figures came in that I have. Um, but I want to do something because the boxes are pretty cool. They're really colorful and they have the Overwatch logo on them. But even cooler is right above these boxes is the uh, original Overwatch events artwork um, edition 9 out of 100. Uh, one of my favorite pieces I got off eBay when that event was over. I think it was like a Comic Con or something. I'm probably misspeaking. But it was one of the major Overwatch events and I picked that up on eBay shortly after. Um, really like that piece. Right next to it is another one of my favorite games artwork, and that's from Bioshock. Uh, Juliet is actually the voice actor for the Little Sisters. Very briefly, we can check out the green screen. The green screen station is where I do my Overwatch videos. I usually set my laptop in my lap and uh, put on a headset and then watch my video and commentate over it. That's where I do all my green screen work. You can see my old college textbooks are holding down the green screen to keep it nice and taut. Also an Overwatch license plate over there doing nothing by itself. In the center of the apartment, you can see basically a TV that's never used and also an Xbox One that is never used because I'm never out here. I've probably turned this TV on like three times in three years. Uh, but I think the cooler pieces of this area are the Amiibos as well as this Black Magician Girl figure my brother got me. Um, I also have another card display and that's of all my Shining Pokemon. I'm only missing one. Shining Pokemon, that's Shining Tyranitar. And then more notably to you probably would be the Overwatch art that um, my good friend on DeviantArt, Telly Maniac, made for me uh, about a year ago now at this point. Super, super fine detail. I love her artwork and I always try to get her to draw me stuff whenever I have uh, the funds to do so. I also have some anime art drawn from her as well. I'll link her stuff down in the description below if you want to go give her a shout out from the Nerds channel. Moving on into the bedroom area, as well as like the bathroom kind of caddy corner type thing. You can see I have some um, artwork or printed artwork that I printed out and made little collages up. I have a YouTube, an old YouTube video of how to make those collages. Also, you know, quick glance at the bathroom, work zone sign, and now we're moving into my bedroom. So in my bedroom, things get a little serious. Uh, I don't even know the best place to start. I guess we'll just start over here by my bed itself. You can see I got my laptop, which is where I watch my anime when I'm laying in bed. Um, as well as a bunch of manga that I'm reading and books that I'm reading all on my little night shelf. I also have some random artwork above my bed as well as collages. Uh, moving towards the figures now, I guess. So figures are on the dresser as well as much artwork above my dresser. You can see I have the four Overwatch figures that I like. I also saw the Genji one was out. I just haven't bought that yet. Newer little setup here is the PS4 setup, which I sometimes switch between when I just want to take a break from Overwatch and play that. You can also see this really old Bioshock artwork. Um, actually, this whole wall here by the gaming setup, I guess we'll just kind of pan back and you can see um, all the different pieces of art I have here as well as the gaming setup itself. Um, some Overwatch art, some crossover art between Farah and Samus, as well as um, some anime stuff, Bioshock stuff, um, the channel mascot, 
uh, just all sorts of stuff in here. The last thing we get to is my bookshop, which is, is a culmination of a bunch of things I've collected over the years, a bunch of random stuff in here. You got like a Yu-Gi-Oh card booklet, a bunch of light novels, manga, um, old college textbooks, a scanning electron microscope, like close-up image of some mineral from my engineering days. Um, just all sorts of different things, passports for when we, my brother and I travel uh, around the world, all that sorts of stuff. And really, um, that is about it. it. My apartment's pretty small, of course, I live by myself. And, um, you know, this is, this is enough for me. I like it a lot. I still try to collect more art from all the different um, deviants around the globe and also anybody who reaches out to me and says they, you know, they would love to draw something for my channel. I usually work with those folks and try to support them as much as possible but because I love their work. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. I'll try to get back to you about any questions you might have. Um, thanks for watching. See ya.